EasyDraw is available with free market licensing from EasyDraw.com and iTunes licensing from the Mac App Store. This is a second of three tutorials for the main toolbar. If you are new to EasyDraw, you may want to watch the customized toolbar tutorial before this one. It is best to do the Color Picker Toolbar Tools tutorial after this one. This tutorial will focus on the menu tools in the toolbar. The toolbar has simple tools that perform a single action. These are easy enough to understand. Other tools have a menu associated with the toolbar button. I'm going to show you how these work. This will make you quite a bit quicker with EasyDraw. So, like I said, EasyDraw has two different types of tools. The simple tools and the menu tools. The simple tools are like, let's say, the annotation tool here is a simple tool. But the menu tools are different. An example of the menu tool would be the text color tool. And the way you can visually tell the menu tool apart from the simple tool is that menu tools have that green little arrow icon in their um, in their icon with simple tools all you do is just one click and it opens what it needs to open it's as easy as that the menu tools represent several choices not just one simple action they can represent a choice of colors or gradients they can represent a complete tool palette as a space-saving single button and there are quite a few of them i'm only going to show you one or two here. You will want to explore the customized sheet to see which are useful for the way you use EasyDraw. To get the tools associated menu to open, we need to click and hold for about a second. If you just click, that is different. We'll get to that in about a second. To access the menu, you first click and hold for about a second. So let me just sh uh, show you um, an example here. Let's say you want to open up the chart tools palette. You go to the view menu and you click on charting and this is what you get, the chart tools palette. But let's say you want to do it in an easier way. Instead of going to the view menu, you go to the chart button up here and click and hold for about a second and you basically get the same thing a pop-down menu like this that gives you all the same tools but in a very 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 organized manner and it's easier to access than the chart palette through the view menu the menu tool also takes up a lot less space on your monitor as you can see compared to the chart palette okay let's get to do some drawing when we pick a tool from the menu the tool activates just like it does from its normal permanent home in the user interface. So I'll click and hold to open the menu, then select my tool. All right, let's select the tool and do some drawing here. Let's say, this one. When a tool is selected, it activates and we use it in a normal fashion and it becomes the tool for the button. This means it is available for use as a simple quick click tool, just like the simple annotation button we saw earlier. We can reuse the tool with a quick click. All right, well, let's uh, show you what I mean. The last tool that we used to draw was this one. Now if you go back up to the chart button, you see that the icon of the chart button has changed from the fat arrow that it used to be 
to the same tool that we last used. So now all we need to do is do a simple click and then draw again. And if you want to repeat, just a simple click and use that tool to draw again. One note on the quick click, the mouse can't move much during the quick click or easy draw things you are moving to the menu and switches gears and opens the menu so you need to watch out for this or use it to your advantage but that is how it works if you find the menu opening and you thought you just did a quick click it is probably because you moved the mouse just a bit if you are rock and rolling and want the menu then click and move it and it will be there for you. You can see how menu tool will follow you as you work. When you are drawing a particular shape or action will come up. Then frequently we are going to need more of them and presto that tool will be there all ready to go. Now I'm going to show you a trick that will make you an easy draw power user. You can have more than one instance of a menu tool in the toolbar. You might ask, why would I do that? First let me quickly show you how we do that, then see why. Okay, well let's say today all you're doing with easy draw is charting and you need more than uh, one tool from the chart uh, drop down menu. To use so what you're gonna do is put more than one of the chart button up in the toolbar that's really easy to do all you need to do is go to the customize button here bring the sheet down you can get rid of these three buttons here which you're not going to use today just click them and poof click them and poof that easy then go to the chart menu button here on the sheet and drag one up and drag another one up and basically you can drag as many of them up as you need and then click done I have quickly set up a situation that might easily happen during a drawing project we have four charting buttons on top as I'm working with it it evolves that I'm using not just one of the charting tools but several I can have each tool parked on a different button, ready for quick instant access. That's really easy. Let's set each one of these up with a different tool. That one is set to that. This one set to this one. This set to this shape. And Let's change this one to, might as well, do it to that one. That's how easy it is. Now I can just quickly use these tools that I've set up here with one click. Okay. and draw them that easy and fast. There are color, gradient and pattern menu tools as well. They work on these same principles with a few added twists. There's a tutorial that focuses on their use. You may want to do that one next. EasyDraw is available with free market licensing from EasyDraw.com and iTunes licensing from the Mac App Store.